Hey scholars, we started a campfire and we're just gonna burn some things and take a look at how different chemicals uh, react in the oxidation reaction of a fire, which is a chemical reaction. Um, apparently, if you atomize flour enough and blow it in the air, it will actually become flammable. Let's see if we'll do it or not. Oh, slightly. There we go. Cool. So, if it's in the air the right way, that was pretty sweet. Okay, let's try powdered sugar. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, and let's try granulated sugar. Interesting. Uh, ground cinnamon. Yes, that's so cool. <laughs> awesome. Oh man, I'm out of it. Okay, no more cinnamon. Now we're gonna try cupric chloride. Yes. I feel like an evil genius. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's show it up on there. All right. Yes. Look at that green. That's the copper. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to let it burn for just a second before we move on. Do you know why there's green and blue in the fire? Why? Two different oxidation reactions. The blue is from the uh, chloride, chlorine, mm -hmm. and then the green is coming from the copper. That's so cool. It's so beautiful. Good. Okay, so we had to wait to burn off some of the cupric chloride. Let's do table salt, sodium chloride. That's kind of good. It's not really doing a lot. And then... The color that stuff burns, salt, table salt burns, is about the same color as a fire, so it's orangish yellow. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, Epsom salt. This has magnesium sulfate in it. Hmm. It should have more of a bright white flame, don't you think? Maybe we've just poured too much junk on this fire. <laughs> Can I give it a second? Oh, there's some of that really bright green, but that might be just the Kubrick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try this last one. It's borax. Ready, go. Huh? It's anticlimactic. 